Hi guys, welcome to Code Decode. So today we are going to discuss as to why do we really need comparable and comparator interfaces at the first place at all in Java. So today we know that we already have many such methods like arrays dot sort and many such ways to sort the arrays and list to sort the primitive objects array or list. So what will happen if we use them to sort the custom objects? So let's find out the answer for the same. So this is an employee class, right? Have you seen this before? Yes, this is something which we have used in the previous video lecture where we have seen equals in hash code, right? So we are going to reuse this thing here. But first of all, let's go to main class and here I have an integer array. So what is this? This is nothing but an array of primitive objects, right? So this is an array of integer objects. Now I have used arrays.sort which is nothing but a utility method of arrays class to sort your integer array or any of the type of array which is of primitive type so when i try to uh, print that particular array but we need to use array dot two string because to convert these into the string format so that you can view it on the console so when i try to run it what we will see this 5 9 1 and 10 is being sorted in the ascending order from 1 to 10 right now let's get an example as to what will happen if we try to use the same arrays.sort method on the custom object. So I'll take this example employee array and I'll, I'll uh, use the same IDs as 5, 9, 1 and 10 because this particular thing is ID and name. So I'll try to sort all those four employees with the 5, 9, 1 and 10 employee IDs and try to sort them so that I can find them in the same way 1, 5, 9 and 10. So I have a code for you already so that we will not waste our time. I'll explain that, don't worry. This is my employee array. So I'm creating an employee array with four objects similar to 1, 5, 9 and 10. And I'm going to uh, give this as an input 5, 9, 1 and 10 as an employee ID. Now the names are in the uh, no, no particular order. John, Amit, Paul and Amy. There is no particular order. I've created four employee objects for you. Now I did arrays.sort. So this is same as what we have done here. So can you see there is a similarity in when I'm trying to sort my integer array and similarly I'm trying to um, uh, uh, sort my objects of custom of uh, array of custom objects. So what will happen? This is default storing uh, sorting of employee list. And I'm going to put it again in a way in which I can see it on a console. Now I'm going to run it for you. I'm going to run it with the main, main class itself and I found a particular error. It says that this exception in the main uh, class, that class class exception, employee cannot be casted to java.lang.comparable and hence we found our answer to the question that why do we really need comparable and comparator interfaces? We need comparable and comparator interfaces because Java cannot uh, basically sort your custom objects the way it can uh, sort the uh, primitive objects area of primitive object. So that is why we need comparable and comparator. So let's see comparable and comparator in much more detail in the next video. Thank you.